Butter Butterflies and today I'm going to be doing my review on The Invisible Hand by James Hartley. Now you guys, like, I'm like so pissed off with this book. Like, I'm pissed off to like the highest level of freaking pissedity. Like, I, I can't do it. Like, I'm so done with time traveling books like right now. Like, Guys, like, I, I just was hoping that this book was going to be good. This is the second time traveling a book I read in a row that I didn't like. And this one was so bad. So bad. I gave it one freaking star. Like, that, I don't remember the last time I gave a book one star. Like, I hated this book so much. Now, I got this. I would say this book um from NetGalley and Lowstones Publishing in exchange for my honest review and that's what you guys are going to get today my honest review i i hated the book so bad i couldn't even finish it i got a little bit past halfway and i couldn't do it anymore i couldn't force myself to read it i felt like i was wasting time to force myself to freaking finish reading it i hated it i didn't like it like i don't think there's anything about this book that i liked like the only thing i liked about this book was the concept of it itself time traveling through shakespeare's plays I think that could have been something. Could have been. Could have is the keyword, but it turned out to be shit. So I did not like it. Like I hated this. It was like my worst read this month. Like seriously, it was the absolute worst. First of all, I, I hated 100% how the book transitioned into the time traveling. It's like there wasn't no transition, like at all. There was like no leading action up to the time travel. There was no explanation. It's just one minute he was here and then bam next minute he's back in time like there's it's like one chapter they start off one chapter you know he's in that present time at the boarding school and then all of a sudden whoosh the next chapter he went to sleep that night and then the next chapter he's back in time in scotland it's like i didn't i don't like that there was no transformation and this is just the first two chapters no transformation whatsoever like you know, you gotta give me something to let me know how this time traveling thing is happening before it happened. Like, I at least, you know, expect to wait until, like, chapter five for the actual time travel to happen because you got all this action, you know, actually building up to it and you can kind of see it coming. This was just unfreaking believable. Okay, so first of all, because I totally forgot to explain to you guys what this book was even about because I'm, like, so pissed off about it. Um, basically, it's about this boy named Sam and he's in this boarding school in London or England one of those and he ends up meeting this girl named Lena I think is her name Lena like the characters are not memorable to me at all but I think her name is Lena and he can travel back in time and she's originally from the past and she can travel to the future so but then it happens I guess when they sleep I guess he goes to sleep and he goes back in time she goes to sleep and she comes to present time and it's supposed to be a first book in a series about time traveling through Shakespeare's play. And it's like each book is supposed to take place in the same boarding school but go to a different play. So this first one was about Macbeth. So he was going, when he was traveling back in time, he was traveling back in time to Scotland. And basically when they're going back in time, when Sam's going back in time and she's coming to his present time from that past time, they're supposed to be playing out through Shakespeare's play. So they're kind of like living out the play. And I thought this was going to be good. It sounded like it could have been something. And I was like totally fucked up from it. I mean, he had a good synopsis going on with it. But it's just how it played out. I did not like. Now that I've like, you know, got the explanation of what it was supposed to be about. Not to go back and tell you the things I hated about it. Like the dialect part is, a, I want to say, is the second thing I absolutely hated. I hated the dialect. Like when he went back to, to time in Scotland, you could barely read it and like understand what the fuck was being said and like what was going on. Like that's how bad the dialect was and I don't think he should have wrote it like that because I mean, I'm lost reading it because I'm like, what the fuck does this mean? You know, like I'm not Scottish and I'm pretty sure, you know, present day Scottish people don't talk like that. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure they don't. But it's just, he wrote it just so rough and it's like, I didn't, didn't like it because you was losing me there from the beginning just from how you transformed in a time travel and then you completely lost me again with how the dialect was and then another thing with the dialect is it doesn't really match up throughout the book like during the present time one sentence he'll be speaking in like you know like a, a british kind of accent but then the very next sentence is not even a british accent is more it's like a straight up American accent for like the next two three sentences and then it's back to this British kind of dialect 
And it's like, I don't like that. If you want to do British, then do British dialect. If you're going to do American dialect, then do American dialect. But don't mix them like that because it's like, it doesn't look like you planned it very well at all. I did not, I did not like that. I hated that so much with a passion. I hated that. And then another thing is, I saw that it was considered a YA novel. I think it should be considered more of a middle grade novel. From what I did read and understand, it felt more like a middle grade than a YA novel but that's all i can really comment on about it because i didn't finish it i dnf'd it this is the second book i've dnf like i did not mm -mm. didn't like it um wouldn't recommend it at all like don't pick it up i don't recommend it it's like it was terrible i don't i don't recommend it um i mean if you still want to give it a try you can go ahead i wouldn't waste my money on it and wouldn't waste my money on it if it you know comes out in the library then yeah go ahead and check it out and give it a test run but i didn't like it i wouldn't recommend it to you guys because i love you guys and i know you guys care about my opinion on a book i wouldn't recommend it because it's a shitty book so don't even pick it up and waste your time with it like it's not worth it don't don't do it you it's you're only going to piss yourself off reading it so i mean if you feel like being angry because you have been angry for a while then go ahead and pick it up and read it it's going to piss you off but otherwise don't don't pick it up it's supposed to come out February 21st, and I think that it's today. I almost forgot to tell you a three release date, and I'm terribly sorry, but I doubt any of you are going to go pick it up anyway, because it was not good. Um, but that's all for my review, and after this review, you guys cannot honestly say that I don't review books, like, honestly. After, it's like, I'm going to give you my honest opinion on it. If it was shit, it was shit. I'm not going to tell you guys it was a good book, and had hey, you guys go waste your time to pick it up. But now you guys see, y'all get my honest opinions on books all the time, so... Yep, thank you guys for watching my review video. Sorry that I had to do a shitty review video, but I just want to let you guys know I think it's better that I warn you than you guys like, oh yeah, that's a nice that sounds great and go pick it up and waste your time. So thank you guys for watching my video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!